We'll see you in just a bit, Gerald. Thank you. Colleges and universities around the country are changing athletic conferences these days, but the process for UNC system schools may get a bit longer. That's because the UNC Board of Governors is moving toward a new policy. It's one that would give the board and the system president veto power over any conference moves involving UNC and NC State. So let's bring in WREL's investigative sports reporter, Brian Murphy. He's joining us now. So, Brian, give us a little context behind this move. Sure, there's been a lot of debate and speculation about the future of the ACC. UNC, in particular, appears to have options in the SEC or the Big Ten. Now, UNC has not said they want to leave the ACC. In fact, the Tar Heels would prefer to stay. But if UNC and other schools were to leave the league, it could collapse. And that might have very negative effects on other schools, including NC State. Okay, so what exactly could the board do in this scenario? Yeah, the policy change passed the committee today. It must still be taken up by the full 24-member board. But under the proposal, the president of the system and the board of governors would each have the power to veto a move after being presented with a financial plan. The plan would then have to be tweaked and changed. I kind of mentioned this before, but we've seen this in some other states as well, including California. Yeah, no doubt. Politics plays a role in these decisions, and universities are huge, important institutions in states. So the board wants to look out for all of its member schools and certainly believes it has oversight on a major, major decision that could have statewide impact. WRL's investigative sports reporter, Brian Murphy. Thanks, Brian. And this Sunday, we will find out who will...